Dobry dzień. Bita you was. Welcome to episode 50 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is on healing, alchemy, natural substances, healing covers and first aid. Now there is a lot of subjects to cover in this. Um, they're all very intertwined but what I will do is separate as much as I can into the next following set of episodes. So 50 will cover a variety of, of uh, subjects. 51 will still be on healing covering a variety of subjects. 52 no doubt. Um, I'll just have to see as I go. I mean it's not possible for me to work exactly out how long each one will be and what's the, the, the subject matters are so intertwined in this area but you'll see as we go along and uh, thanks to Tosh's indexing it will help immeasurably okay so moving on apologies to you all that this episode is not on combat and special moves I have to train many skills before I can do justice to the fantastic abilities that you get with special moves. It would have just been a case of me reading from Wormpedia otherwise. I like to read from Wormpedia as you know, but I also like to show you, if I can, what, what we're talking about. And for special moves, all of my skills are far too low. I need to practice and train on them so I'm not shying away from special moves I will be get, getting to them but they're in a later episode as you're going to see when I do it it will make sense okay so you'll notice down there that I'd uh, got a friend from the wilds and I tamed him so we got a brown bear okay Remember, the taming skill needs to be at 16 in order to tame brown bears. Black bears are stronger. They require 20 taming skill. But anyway, I brought my my buddy here. I thought I was going to be fighting him and showing you the special moves. So my apologies for that. You can see I, I did prepare for it. But it's not to be, not yet. I will get to it. A question to you though. Why are the Spirit Templars not attacking my brown bear? I know he's tamed at the moment, but um, okay, just to e example this a bit better, if I bring up my animal, <clears throat> excuse me, my animal permissions, if I find the bear, and if I untame the bear, Okay, bear's now hostile. So I'll ask that question again. Why are the spirit templars not attacking my bear? Why has my deed alarm not gone off? Okay, I'll give you the answer to it in a little bit. But there we go, I wanted to explain. Sorry that I'm not on the um, last part of that combat, which I was going to do, but I can't do just yet. I will do it. Okay, so... Moving on, let's talk about what I want to mention next, which is I want to thank Rainstorm for spending her Christmas day helping me plan this episode. It took us hours. So, what I'm going to do is you're going to see why it took us hours. Um, just to mention something else. The skills that I'm going to be covering now I really enjoy these skills. I love these skills. I mean, you're going to keep hearing me say it. There's just so many skills in this game that are all just so much fun in their own right that they're just so enjoyable. I realise and want you to realise that in all the episodes I've made so far, there is still so much information I have not covered. I am sorry to worm for that. I cannot help feeling I have rushed through too much content. 
as silly as that may sound. I do not want for one instant you to think that I have covered any subject or skill to its full conclusion. I have only scraped the surface, okay, because there's constant updates, constant changes, they're, they're adding all the time, so just be aware of that, that I will never hope to conclude any subject matter. I will simply revisit it when enough changes and make a further episode on it. Okay, moving on. Before me is an ocean of information. I shall try my best to enlighten you to the wonders of these skills that I'm going to cover. But please forgive me if there are any inaccuracies or if I cover something more than once. The reason for me covering certain things more than once are so that I can give you different examples thereby helping you to understand what I'm saying and what Wormpedia is telling us a little easier. So I've done a little experimentation with these episodes. I'm change, I've changed the way that I've planned them. Um, I will not be switching to Wormpedia because I've grabbed the subject details that I wanted and laid them out in the way that I want to proceed with these episodes so just to bear that in mind Tosh my dear Aussie friend this episode episodes are my Christmas challenge to you to index may the force be with you okay so let's start on this mighty subject of healing and natural substances and all that it entails. We will start by me having a look at the alchemy in your skills list. So if I bring that up on Wormpedia, it's a nice introduction. Alchemy is a useful skill that is influenced by creating healing items or substances out of natural resources such as botanized items or water. Healing covers can play a big role in increasing this skill because they can be easily created and the ingredients required are in abundance all over worm. Okay, so that's our alchemy he heading. Next, <clears throat> let's read natural substances because it's a sub-skill of alchemy. Now, we're only going to cover healing covers, farmer's salve, and farmer's salve. So, just two, okay? There are obviously more to natural substances. Um, I believe I've made... Have I made concrete? I think I've made concrete. But anyway, if I haven't, I will get to that. Dyes, I will get to. Tannin, I will get to. Lyre, I will get to. There are other episodes. But they're good ones. But for now, in this one, we're going to talk about healing covers and the farmer's salve. Having this skill at 10 gains the ability to use law on a healing cover combination, predicting the effects. Right, okay, now here's a classic of why I've laid out this episode differently. What I've read to you there, I could have read from Wempedia, but it would have not registered with the majority of you of the true understanding for what it's telling you. It's a little um, a little confusing. So let me try and enlighten you, enlighten you with just this little passage here. So if we bring up my pocket, what it's talking about here, <coughs> sorry, apologies. Uh, what it's talking about here is when we get our natural substances skill to 10, it will open up the law, law ability. So, to show you then what that is, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, if I activate the barley, and if I right click on the pumpkin and go to alchemy, you will see there's not only the mix option, but there is the law option. Sorry, I'm going to take a drink because my voice is messing up. 
Okay, so you'll see the two there. We cannot use the law option until our skill is at a minimum of 10. So it's not telling us it will give us the law, uh, it will pre predict the effects on the finished product. It's telling us it will give us the law on the components we are about to mix. Therefore, if we wish to make healing covers of quality level 3, and don't worry, I'm going to get to that. I'm jumping ahead, but I'll get to that. If we want to focus on making only healing covers of, of uh, level 3, we would want to make sure, check the effects of the components that we're using will achieve that. Okay, you'll see it will make sense as we go along. We're at, but we're at the first step in a very long ladder. So I'm hoping though that that will, what I've just explained there, will let you know that it's talking about activating one, right clicking on the other, going to alchemy. There you go. There's the, the ability, but you'll only be able to use it when you get to 10. That's all I'm trying to get you to understand at the moment. So don't worry if that's all you understand at the moment. Okay, moving on. If um, So if I just quickly show you, if I click law, you have no clue what would happen if you mix these. So that's what happens if your skill's not at 10. Just to wrap that up. I should have showed you that, sorry. So there we go. Right, okay, moving on. Let's now read healing, which is this one. Healing is your ability to deal with wounds. Has one sub-skill first aid, first aid, which can bandage and treat wounds. Okay, so not much, but that's the healing and it's letting you know the sub-skill and let's now then read the sub-skill. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, now I'm going to repeat some of what I read in here and I'm going to try and explain it in multiple ways. You will understand why by the end of all of this information I'm giving you. Okay, first aid is your ability to use cloth items for bandaging wounds. Rags and healing covers are now equally important. So here it's talking about damage versus wounds. Up to five damage is considered a very light wound. Between five and 15 damage is considered a light wound. Between 15 and 30 damage is considered a medium wound. Between 30 and 45 damage is considered a bad wound. And 46 or greater is considered a severe wound. Healing versus time. Very light and light wounds will heal over time. So they will heal without you having to um, use any cotton or cloth or, or healing covers or anything. Okay, they will heal over time. Medium wounds do not heal over time, but won't worsen either. So if you have a medium wound, wound on your body, it will not automatically heal itself like a light wound. It will stay the same. It will, um, there is a better word and I will use, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I will use it later on, but for now, suffice to say, it will not heal, but it will not get any worse, okay? Bad and severe wounds get worse over time. Now, a few episodes ago, I can't remember when, I told you uh, it's quite a few episodes, I guess. But I told you about how a bear killed me because he hurt me severely and I didn't have a healing covers to deal with it. He gave me some bad and severe wounds. So even though I didn't die, I wouldn't have been able to heal the damage. So I just let myself die. You will understand what I'm talking about as we progress in this episode or episodes with that statement. Okay, you will understand better. You probably believe you understand but you'll understand much better later on okay moving on healing cover recommendations 
Use a healing cover on a wound to speed its recovery time. Higher potency covers can be applied over lower ones. Bad and severe should be healed by at least a this will be good against wounds. Healing cover 12 or above. Applying a lower potency cover can slow or potentially stop wound degradation, however. Medium can be healed with any healing cover, but the higher the level, the better. Now, don't worry about if that doesn't all sink in completely. I'm going to be covering wounds and uh, the damage you take, your regeneration rate, the damage versus regeneration uh, in examples. I'm going to be putting them under the microscope for you, okay? And we're going to deal with them independently the different types of wounds we are going to go to a very deep level in this episode and it's something that i wanted to do all along and i think i've shied away from it for the most part because i was scared of boring you but if you're still watching my series by this stage you're definitely interested in the finer points of this fine game and i'm going to give them to you in this these episodes for sure okay Bandages, rags, recommendations. Rags will heal a certain amount of damage instantly. Note that bandaged, bad and severe wounds will get worse over time. And you will see why as we progress. Very light and light wounds. 0.1 kilograms of rag, string or cotton. That's how much it uses of these components or, you know, like, so if you use rags, or if you use strings of cloth, or if you use cotton, it's going to use that amount of that particular component to heal that type of wound. Medium wounds will use 0 0.2 kilograms of one of them components. So 0 0.2, 0 .2 kilograms of cotton, okay, or strings of cloth. Bad wounds will use 0 0.4 kilograms of one of them. Severe will use 0 0.8 kilograms of them. So one of the things I do when I go out on a hunting trip is I take with me a 20 kilogram weight of cotton because the higher, for obvious reasons, the bigger the bundle of the cotton, the longer it's going to last, but the more healing potential it has for the bigger the bundle so there we go with that the quality level of the rag strings cotton affects how difficult a wound is to bandage if you're lucky and or fast your bandage might take a wound below its status threshold reducing its severity for example you could bandage a 31 damage bad wound and get it reduced to a medium and i'm gonna i'm hopefully gonna actually show you that giving you infinite extra time to heal it later on with a cover as mediums do not get worse on their own so yeah we've already spoke about the mediums <clears throat> Excuse me. Similarly, you could reduce a low damage medium into a light, which would recover on its own without the need of ever applying a cover. Because we've already spoken about that as well. Okay, so there we are. Don't worry if all of what I've just read to you does not make complete sense. We're going to get the microscopes out in a moment and place each subject under the microscope. Okay, so. A healing cover is an alchemy item made from natural substances that consists of a poultice of various herbs and other components to be applied on a wound in order to assist healing. It can be applied in addition to a bandage or used on its own. Okay, so moving on. Forgive me if there's pauses and gaps. I'm reading and then trying to um, realise how to best explain it, whether it's through example or through me waffling lots. Okay, let's open up the wagon here.
In fact, I'm going to skip that for now till I understand better what I'm trying to tell myself. Oh, that's, that's not good news. When you make notes and the notes don't make sense to you, only the gamester could do that to himself. He probably wants to fall flat on his face at a subconscious level. He's just achieved it there with that. So I'm going to move on. I'll have to come back to that though, make sure I don't forget that, because that's important. All right, no, brain's engaged. Let's now continue on. I'll get out the way. Right, okay, let's move that down a bit. Okay, brain's engaged. Let's now try, let's show you what I wanted to. Okay, let's open up the cart. What I wanted to show you, okay, is how you can find um, the potency for different different uh, healing covers, the components you're going to use to make the healing covers. Like, we've got two down here. Notice it says HP2, healing potency 2. For the pumpkin, notice it says HP1. Healing Potency 1. If I right click on that, if I go to Find on Wormpedia, Healing Potency 1. If I right click on the barley, go Find on Wormpedia, barley has a healing power of 2. It's talking about potency, so worry not if it uses power. It means potency, but it's got the same meaning anyway. So, Healing Potency of 2. Healing Power of 1. Okay, they both mean the same thing, so don't let it confuse you. That's how you can find each individual um, healing power of each item. Okay, you see, it's very simple. You just right click, find on Wormpedia, and then it will tell you if it is a healing cover component. If it does not mention a healing power or potency, consider it not a healing cover component. Okay. Let's move on. Right, okay, so what we're going to do now is we, we will talk quickly about the different potencies. There are four different components that I am aware of with a healing potency of five. They are as follows. A heart a unicorn horn, gland, and black mushroom. Now, do not get confused with the names that I just used. The names that I've used there are the names that are given after they've been put into an FSB or a BSB. Be aware, the heart and eyes are stored in FSBs. The unicorn horn the gland are stored in a BSB. Oh, I know I'm just going to kick myself right in the rear with that unicorn horn. It's, it's possibly the B, the FSB. I'm, all right, okay, stick to safe territory. The gland is stored in the BSB. The heart is stored and eyes are stored, but that's a different... The heart is stored in an FSB. The gland is stored in the BSB. The unicorn horn, I believe... Oh no, I can't guess. I'll come back. Someone leave a comment. Leave a comment of where the unicorn horn is stored. And the black mushroom, of course, you cannot store anywhere. I'm going to give you more information regarding mushrooms. Worry not. As all I'm trying to get across to you here is the heart, the unicorn horn, the gland and the black mushroom all have a healing potency of five. They are stored in different containers and one of them, the mushrooms, you cannot store in a container. Okay, that's all I wanted to get across. Let's switch over here now to the car. Notice pottery bowl, healing potency five. Thank you Rainstorm for separating these all out for me and thank you for putting the contents in for me to share. Okay, we have no hearts as yet because I've not killed a creature that drops one, nor has Rainstorm. We have no unicorn horns. We've not come across a unicorn yet. But we have come across glands and black mushrooms. Glands can have different names. It could be a horse gland, bull gland. But when you put them in the BSB, they will change to a generic default name of just gland. They will lose the animal's name at the beginning and change to just a gland. So when you combine all of your 
different animal part glands, they will all just jump to the name of only gland. The same goes for the heart, the eyes, all the other healing components that we're going to go over. Okay, there are four different components that I am aware of with a healing potency of four. They are the green mushroom, lovage, rosemary and teeth. Okay, so if we open up number four with the healing potency of four, you'll see there's rosemary, lovage, teeth, and the green mushroom. Okay, they all have the healing potency of four. Lovage is stored in an FSB, so is the rosemary. The teeth are stored in a BSB. Green mushrooms cannot be stored in any containers. That will stop them from rotting. Okay, moving on. There are eight different components that I am aware of with healing potency free. They are the blue mushroom, the bison horn, camellia, eye, longhorn, nettles, sage and the yellow mushroom. Okay, if we open up healing pottery bowl number three, you will see in here we have the sage and the nettles. They are healing potency free. They can be stored in the FSB. So can the eyes. So it might be dog eyes, horse eyes, cow eyes, sheep eyes. When you put them into the FSB, they will all just turn into the name eye. They will lose the animal at the beginning. Okay. Longhorn is stored in the BSB. That is again a healing potency free item. Mushrooms cannot be stored in any containers that will stop them taking damage. Camellias are stored in the FSB and again have the healing potency of free. All of these items do, like I said to you, because that's why they're in this bowl. Okay, so there we are. There's healing potency free items that I'm aware of. Okay, moving on. There are two numerous healing potency items, one and two items for me to mention. You would fall asleep, instead observe what is on my cart. So, in healing potency two, I've listed some there. Okay, acorns are stored in your Oh, goodness sake. You know, if I wouldn't have been recording a video, I'd have just said to you they're stored in an FSB. But now doubt creeps into my mind because I'm recording this and realise it's far long overdue, me falling flat on my rear end or my face. So I'll just do it anyway. I'm stored in FSBs. Barley is stored in FSBs. Paws are stored in BSBs. Garlic, lemons are stored in FSBs. Hoofs are stored in BSBs. So are leather, stored in BSBs. Safras is stored in FSBs. Bladders are stored in BSBs. Lavenders are stored in FSBs. Brown mushrooms cannot be stored in any storage container which will stop or reduce damage. Okay, so there we are. That's healing potency two items. Healing potent and this is only the items we've got. For goodness sake, don't go thinking, oh that's it, that's all you can get for no, that's just what we've got. And look at us, we're I'm still in the dirt. Okay, so point gotten across. Healing potency one. Here's some of the items. Onions, parsley, rose flour, corn, pumpkin, wheat can all be stored in the FSB. Wemp plants, however, are stored in BSBs. These are all healing potency one items. Okay. Let's see where we're, where we're at. Okay. Regards to the mushrooms. You'll notice I mentioned them a few times. Mushrooms spoil... Oh, goodness sake. Right. 
Okay, what do I do? Um, I will finish with a pro tip. That's what I will do. Mushrooms spoil fast, so use them up quickly. Now here's a pro tip to finish this first episode on healing. When you see mushrooms on the ground, do not pick them up if your skill is low. Wait and improve your natural substances skill first. The reason for this is as we've discussed, you cannot store them in any containers which will stop the damage of them. And if you carry them, they will damage at an accelerated rate. I have, for example, to show you, I have in the Healing Potency 5 bowl, three mushrooms. I had it on me for just a matter of about 20 minutes, this one, and it accumulated this damage. That's how quickly mushrooms will rot. If you see them on the ground, leave them be until your natural substances is at a reasonable level. Okay, so there we are. That's this part. Now, I want, I'm going to separate the episodes. The next episode will be 51. This is 50, as, as you're well aware. I wish I could have given them all separate names to clearly define the indexing. It's not possible. I'm going to separate them, though, however, by giving them different numbers because each of these he healing episodes most certainly deserve your attention because there are some fantastic details we're going to get into and let's face it healing is important in this game especially if you want to work on your taming if you want to work on getting different mounts i was going to show you me riding that bear but in my haste in my rushing i forgot i can't be helped wherever you are in the world god bless you keep every <clears throat> oh goodness sake keep every single last one of you safe and have a fantastic day and have a fantastic christmas for those of you that are in boxing day have a lovely day for those of you still in christmas day have a lovely day goodbye and i'll hopefully see you in the next episode